Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a Davidoff brand cigar, the Zeno. Zeno is back, named for Zeno Davidoff. The Zeno brand is back with a new logo, and today's choice is the Zeno Nicaragua Short Torpedo. Is that short enough for you? Four by 52. There's the density. Little bitty sucker. Now, comes in three sizes, actually. Uh, short torpedo, uh, a robusto, and a toro. And I tried all of them. And they're all similar. But the best flavors I found came from the short torpedo. So that's what we're doing today. You can look at the blog. You got a lot of information on the lead in, but that's short, sort of the long and the short of it. Um, I'm, I'm a little unsure why they call it Zeno Nicaragua because it's not all Nicaraguan by far. There is some Nicaraguan tobacco in there. So maybe that's all it takes, but we are here to review this cigar today. The new Zeno Nicaragua Short Torpedo. Now it's always nice to find a good short cigar. They're not going to come much shorter than four. I have seen some threes, but mostly four is about as short as they'll get. Let's clip off just a little bit of this nice torpedo cap. And a nice draw there. Didn't take off much, just that much. First layers are nice and very, very thick. We've got citrus, pear, apricot, brown sugar, light nutmeg, citrus peel, and a nice little black coffee base. Black pepper at about seven. Very nice start. Um, and going to be a short cigar, so I'm going to try to do it in thirds, believe it or not. But uh, that's a nice start. I would suggest, and some people roll their eyes at this, but I would suggest you have a clean palate. You could try the uh, Golden Delicious Apple Trick. You don't even need to eat a whole apple. A quarter would be fine. Whatever. I like them, so I eat them all. I eat it all. But that's how you start, and that is a nice little start. The flavors give a little bit of a light texture. It's not a heavy cigar by any means, so definitely nice start. So let's see what we have in the first third. Here at the first third, and not a bad burn time to this point. I left out cream notes. They were light at the beginning, but they've developed more. So add cream notes to the front end because there's a lot more of them now. And the cream is combining with the nutmeg. So you've got that kind of a flavor. It tastes like nutmeg with cream in it. Creamy nutmeg. Now the cigar is going along about like it was. The pepper is doing well. It may have actually ticked up a little bit. The flavors which were individual at the start are now combining. So you've got the, uh, the pear, apricot, citrus all combining into like one thing. 
if you mixed them all up. There's plenty of brown sugar there. Cream and nutmeg or creamy nutmeg. <clears throat> the citrus peel is a little less, but it's still there. And the black coffee base. This is a very light tasting cigar. It's, uh, it's not heavy at all. But um, nice flavors. The finish is really a little faint and short. There's a little nutmeg. It appears to taste dry. And some fairly decent lingering uh, black pepper. The finish could probably be better, but it's just pretty much dry nutmeg. But the cigar is tasty. It's just very light. So, uh, Take that with a grain of salt, but I'm rating the first third 91. I actually like it, but it's a little light. You know, it's not something that you that's, that's going to, you need to have a very clean palate. So let's just, sit, it won't take us long to get there. Let's see what the second third has. And in the second third. Didn't take long. Obviously, my <clears throat> first third time went a little long because subtracting those numbers. But that's okay. The good news is that the black coffee is elevating in this second section. That's good news because I told you it was a little light. It gives it a little bit better more depth the flavors are by and large unchanged <clears throat> but there's a little more depth and that helps it um, strength wise the cigar is mild to medium this is a light cigar the finish is a little improved also there's nutmeg and now a little cream in there. The lingering black pepper is better. But I would raise the score to 92 for the second third because it's got better depth. The flavors were fine all along. But it just seems so light because there wasn't enough black coffee or enough base or enough depth. And now it's got a little more. I mean, it's not bottomless. It's not... You know, there's depth, but it's not uh, <laughs> too much. But this makes it nice. For a light cigar, it's got the right amount. So, let's see what the final third has. Down to the end. So let's wrap it up. You know the flavors that I told you about the pear and the citrus and the apricot. They all combine now. It's almost a floral type flavor. Floral. Same flavors are there. Same conditions are there. The black coffee is Still elevated, even though the ring gauge is getting smaller and smaller, it maintained the exact same flavors. I would say it's medium bodied now. Finish is unchanged. The score is unchanged, 92. It's a very good cigar. It's just light. Might make a good morning cigar with a clean palate. But your overall score is 91.67. Pretty good for a light cigar. Nice flavors, just light. And we didn't even talk about the price point. My gosh. The price point of these things. They are very, very uh, affordable. This short torpedo is $5.95. The Robusto is $6.50. And the Toro is $6.95. 
that's uh, very achievable for anyone. So there you have it, the new Zeno Nicaragua Short Torpedo, 91.67.